Okay, yes. looking back in terms of diseases in the, in the parish, especially in the town of Mandeville, how has that evolved? Um, Mr. Henry is a gas station operator. Well, our, our, our pharmacy celebrated 100 years two years ago. <laughs> my, my grandfather came here in 1920 and um, he set up Harton's Drugstore. And he was a, in those days, I called pharmacist druggist. <laughs> and uh, then my dad went to study. Um, he was a, at that time, pharmacists were apprenticed to the hospitals, the Kingston Public Hospital, or in Montego Bay, and, uh, at the university, to when the university hospital started. And but in those days, the university wasn't there. But my dad was apprenticed at KPH, and when he was there during his last year, my granddad died. So there, even Bailey came as a pharmacist until my grad, grad, dad graduated and uh, that was in 1928 my father actually started and as a young man I used to go to yes, Manchester schools right nearby so after school I'd come by the, the drugstore and stay with my father and my mother who was in the business and then in 19, my dad died in 1969 and I was at pharmacy school at CAST, College of Arts and Sector Technology. I got to CAST in 1962, the first formal training for pharmacists in an educational institution, I'm being apprenticed to a hospital pharmacists. So I was the first group at CAST where we started about 15 young men and young women trained at CAST, which is now UTEC. And we started in January of 1962. And when I was there, my dad died. And, um, no, sorry. I graduated in 1964. And my dad expected me to come back to the pharmacy. And I, I got a job at Federated Pharmaceutical in the factory in the quality control department. And I thought this was an exciting opportunity to see a different side of pharmacy. My dad was most disappointed, but he hung in there. And I was at Federated Pharmaceutical and in Windsor Labs as a young pharmacist working in college, quality, quality control and in production. And then my dad died in 1969. And I came back to Mandeville. And my sister, my older sister, who's now deceased, and I ran the pharmacy. She was the business manager. I was the doggest. <laughs> and uh, we ran the store and we continued the business. So I am third generation and in early 2000s I sold the business to my one of my daughters. So I know work for my daughter. And in my retirement years and Francine runs the pharmacy. And we celebrated 100 years in 2020. And we keep on. We are keeping on, keeping on. We have some mm -hmm. bright ideas for the future, and we hope to be a part of the growth of the profession of pharmacy in Jamaica. For me, um, for me, uh, you know what? What I what I think of myself. I came here um, as a young engineer, as I said before, um, but I've always contemplated my position in this life. Uh, I do not, uh, I always maintain that I was not born to be an employee. Um, and so business has always been a mainstay in, in my efforts um, in terms of building a career having graduated from university. Now, <clears throat> I came here and I've always had my eyes out for something that an opportunity and I tried many things. I started off, so I you remember, um, being a distributor for Island Dearest. Yes, and yes. I actually put Island Dearest products in the three parts of Canada, St. Elizabeth and Manchester at the time. And whilst maintaining the job at Afghan, you know, as I progress at the, at the company, um, 
I've always had my hands on for this business. And I used to run both. And then the big opportunity came for me to be a retailer at where I am now, um, with uh, one of the best companies, I believe, um, multinational companies that operates in Jamaica. It's was Texaco. Um, and you know, that company has changed hands several times. It's not, it's not unusual um, for somebody, I mean, where I was in terms of how I performed through the years, that the company saw it prudent to, uh, to you know, dispose of the, the location, which I bought um, some you know, 20 years ago. Um, and we've grown and evolved, and I'm, I'm proudly here now to have been in the first, um, uh, one of the first locally owned, um, well, me personally being the first retailer to have accepted fuel from a new marketing company, which I, um, I was well, my idea in terms of um, building out a marketing company itself to compete with the multinationals. So we joined several of the other local entities as future energy source company, FESCO. Um, we are now um, in our uh, 14th year of operations and we've moved um, to the General Stock Exchange, the General Stock Exchange. We have brought on board almost 4,500 new shareholders. We have building up the brand and so on, and we are proud to be a part of the landscape of, of the country, Jamaica, and of course, in particular for me, my pride and joy Manchester, as you know, so, right? So, um, again, in, like in most cases, stuff, we, are, we lead the way. Manchester leads the way in this country. In this country. Um, <clears throat> I mean, you know, I mean, I have no apology at all by saying that man of Manchester is by far the best parish and town in Jamaica. Bar none. 